Hey guys, what's up? TTM Mike here, and I'm coming at you with a uh, few TTMs, some eBay pickups, and a hanger box of uh, 2020 tops. I mean, not 2020, 2022 tops hanger box. So, first I'll do the uh, TTMs. So, first TTM I receive is coming back from former head coach at uh, UConn, and he ended his career coaching at uh, St. Joseph's, the Blue Jays, and that is Coach Jim Calhoun. So in the TTM request, I asked him if he could send me a signed business card, and he did. He sent me his business card, Jim Calhoun, head coach, St. John's. And then uh, this is what I included. I included this card, and he signed the buzzer beater card. He signed it, Jim Calhoun. So two... Uh, Two returns from Mr. J, uh, Jim Calhoun, sorry, J. Uh, two returns from Mr. Jim Calhoun. So thank you, kind sir. And then the next one I received, uh, I also received my Mets Blue 8x10, which I sent it right back out. Uh, who did I send it to? I sent it out to Bob Baylor. So waiting for that to come back. But... He did sign, Mr. Wayne Garrett did sign my 8x10, and he signed this, this little autograph card. Uh, Wayne Garrett, number 11. Wayne Garrett was part of the 69 World Series championship team. He was part of the 73 World Series team, which went against the Oakland A's, and they lost, unfortunately. But uh, Wayne Garrett was a very good infielder. Uh, he played third base, and uh, he was one of my favorites growing up as a kid, so... Happy to get Mr. Wayne Garrett back again. So this is about the third or fourth time I get him. Got him on an 8x10, two 8x10s, a poster, a couple of cards. So thank you, Mr. Wayne Garrett. Took about a week. The Jim Calhoun took about two weeks. So what is next? What is next? So uh, coming up next, I got a fan package. From uh, Isaac, the great Isaac, the uh, hunt continues. Uh, if you're in the YouTube community, you probably know about Isaac's channel. He used to be Baseball Fan 75. Now he's the hunt continues. Isaac does some great videos. He's always, always on the hunt. Uh, he buys toys. He buys cards. Uh, he does barbecue videos. Pretty versatile channel, if you ask me. So if you're not, if you're not a subscriber to Isaac... Head out to YouTube. The hunt continues. Subscribe to Isaac. So Isaac was showing these cards off. He did a rip. And then I, I told him, hey, I think that's a short print. Turns out this is not a short print. The short print was a colored variation. But I didn't have this card in my collection. So very happy that uh, Isaac offered to send it to me. Uh, that's, how, that's how Isaac is, man. He's always hooking up the community. Great guy. And uh, he sent me a note. He said, uh, yo, Mike. Take care, bro. Thank you. Keep on rocking. So, thank you, Isaac. And you keep on rocking, buddy. So, uh, Isaac sent me this card. And it's the great Jake the Grom. Love me some Jake. I PC Jake. So, was very happy to receive this from Isaac. Even though it was not the short print that I thought it was. But turned out to be a card that I didn't have anyway. So, thank you, Isaac. Check him out on YouTube. The hunt continues. Great guy. Thanks again. Next card I picked up. I picked this up on eBay. It is a 2020 Heritage Purple Foil card. So it's a Jake the Grom pitcher. Really cool card. Now I like sending my... Uh, I like grading all my uh, Jake the Grom cards. And I, was, I started off grading them. I graded them with PSA. So I won't be sending this to SGC because once I start... That's the OCD in me. Once I start grading... My uh, PC with a certain company, I have to con continue sending them to PSA. So hopefully someday PSA drops the prices down to an affordable price. I'm not willing to send it at 50 but uh, they would have dropped it down at 20 25 I might consider sending a few more, maybe my short prints, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully someday soon PSA will lower the prices and I can resume submitting my base cards, people say, oh, you're not supposed to submit your base card. I submit what I want. It's my money. 
And if I feel submitting, like submitting a 1988 set, I'll submit my 1988 set. I can't understand why people get so bent out of shape. It's your money. Send in what you want to grade. That's how I feel. So uh, hopefully soon PSA will drop the price. And then lastly, uh, you guys know I've been collecting this kid right here, Francisco Alvarez. He is in the minor leagues. I believe he's playing with the Rumble Ponies right now. That's double A baseball. But uh, he's having a really good year so far for a 20 year old. And uh, I've just been, I picked a guy <clears throat> that I think is going to do well on the team. And uh, I think he's going to make it to the pros soon, maybe next year. So I picked Francisco Alvarez. Man, his cars are on fire, man. You can't, when I started PCing him, they were pretty affordable. Now, the better he does, the higher the higher the prices go. You can't even really get an autograph card of his at a reasonable price. But I'll keep searching. Maybe someday. Maybe I'll pull one of his autographs one day. Who knows? But I'll keep searching for his autographs. And, uh, yeah, hoping that Mr. Francisco Alvarez joins the team in the near future. So now let's get to my... Uh, my hanger box, I brought this at the MLB store. The MLB store is located on, it's right across the street from Radio City Music Hall in Midtown Manhattan. I believe that's 6th Avenue and between 50th and more towards 51st Street. So if you're in New York, that's where the MLB store is at. So I picked these up. These were $15 each. I opened one last week. I shared that video. You want to see that? You can go back and catch my prior videos. So let's open up this hanger and hope there's a banger in there, man. Last time I, I pulled the Cedric Mullins gold card, and the foil was messed up on the card, man. So let's see what I pull out of this one. So right off the bat, we've got Austin Riley. There you go. That's the pack. And make this a quick video. Okay, 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 okay. Separate them right there. All right. And the first stack is Austin Riley for the Braves. Kyle Higg. Higa Shoka? Higgy Ashoka? I know they call him Higgy, so. He is a pretty good defensive catcher, way better than Gary Sanchez. And we have a rookie card of Ronnie Dawson, JD Martinez, Gene Segura, rookie card Jake Myers. We have a Patrick Wisdom card. Shout out JS. That's her team, the Cubs. Uh, we have backwards, upside down card. We have a Eric Hosmer. We have uh, Mike Mustakas. Marco Gonzalez. Spencer Turnbull. Flip it around. Kyle Gibson, Robbie Grossman, we have Nick Solak, Will Smith, we have Alcides Escobar, Trevor Rogers, Alex Kirloff, Future Stars, Keston Hura, rookie card of Kyle Muller. We have a uh, Chris Bryant, who's on the Rockies now. Joey Wendell. We have a Martin Maldonado. Uh, Yun Jin Ru. Nicky Lopez. Ryan Zimmerman, who retired. Corbin Burns. And a Wanda Franco. Everybody's going. Crazy over Wanda. Rookie card of Wanda Franco. Me, you know, whatever. 
But everybody else is going nuts. I got a wonder. The wonder count. Okay, man. Happy for you. <laughs> uh, I think he came out like two years with a Bowman, Bowman's card. I think that should really be the card everybody should be after. But, hey, to each his own. But I put it off to the side just like everyone else. Maybe I'll grade it one day. Uh, Jason Kowar, and then the insert cards. We got a uh, Shane Bieber. That's a good one. We have a uh, Stars of the MLB. Cool one, Yachty. Leave that one there. I PC Yachty as well. Joey Gallo, Mister O for Two. They call him in New York because every time he comes up to bat, he is uh, zero balls and two strikes. Count is always against them, so they're calling him Mr. Owen 2. Pretty funny. We have uh, Buster Posey, who retired, and Aaron Judge, who turned down 230 mil. Uh, Colorado Rockies team card, Arizona team card. We have the uh, Tony Kemp. Look at that card, man. That is cool. He was really in an awkward position there. I guess he was chasing after a pop-up or something. Because you can see he caught the ball. Crazy angle. We have Jared Kalenic. Future star card. We have a Slam Diego returned. Uh, Anthony Bender. Garrett Crochet. Stephen Baralt, Ryan McMahon, we have Doubles Bath, Boston Red Sox, and we have uh, Corey Kluber. I don't know where he's at now. He's not with the Yankees. We have uh, Eli Morgan, Josh Naylor, my Mets. Uh, T. Juan Walker, he is injured. There's something wrong with his leg, I believe. But my Mets have still been playing very good. I believe they're 9-2. and two. They just took a doubleheader yesterday away from the uh, San Francisco Giants. So, happy about that. Off to a good start so far. I knew Buck, Buck would make this team better. Matt Manning. Buck Showalter. We have Eddie Rosario. We have a Anthony Del Scafani. We have a Kyle Tucker. Quang Young Kim. Miggy Cabrera is like two hits away from th 3,000 now. We have a Brandon Crawford. Uh, Eduardo Rodriguez, Archie Bradley, East Division Smiles, that's Jazz Chisholm and Francisco Lindor. We have uh, Charlie Morton. I love that uniform, man. I remember when the Braves used to wear that uniform. Beautiful uniform. We have a uh, Gio Oshella, who is now, he was traded to the Twins with Gary Sanchez. Rookie card of Stuart Fairchild. Reaching the end here, Eduardo Escobar. He is a Met now. Uh, Kevin Pillar, former Met. I loved Kevin Pillar. He signed somewhere else. And uh, last card is Emmanuel Rivera. So no bangers. But I did get a Franco that everybody loves. Everybody loves Franco. I did see a blaster box rip. I forget the young man's name, but he pulled he pulled a, a gold numbered uh, Wonder Franco. That was pretty cool. So these were the best cards in my opinion that I pulled: a Yachty, a PC Yachty, and a Wonder Franco. So that is it, guys. That is all for today. Thank you for uh, spending some time with me as I ripped that hanger box. No bangers, but two good cards. And uh, thank you for uh, watching my eBay pickups and my TTM returns. Hope you enjoyed it. 
So that is it for today, guys. I will catch you next time. Please hit that like button. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Something ends up in my mailbox, and I have something to rip. Take care, everybody. God bless. Peace.